Hello, I'm going to try and create this page in WordPress. This page has been created in Photoshop as a visual. And what we do firstly is get to the page in Photoshop, which is why book with us and edit that. And all we do is put the text and images in here. You can either choose the visual, uh, which is a slightly easier editor, or if you're familiar with HTML, you can use the HTML editor. But first I'm going to start with the picture. Um, we have this picture here. Obviously I'd save it in Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, you can use um, a resource like pixlr.com and create an image that is small for, for web. So here it is. It's the correct size. It has the ability, this site, to do a lot of things that you can do in Photoshop. The most important thing is to create the image properly. So if you go save, try and usually save an image like this as 60 quality as a JPEG. Uh, another very important thing is to give it a good name with keywords relevant to what the image is about. Family holiday, which is also good for your SEO. So if you save that, if you actually check that um, image I've made, it's 12K, which is a good size. The original image that I imported was 49K. So always try to keep your images small. So in order to import the image that we just made, you just click that first button there and choose the image from your computer. Now the most important thing here is to give it an alt text and you put that in there and that will be again similar to the title but it can just explain what's in the image and this is very good for SEO as well. WordPress usually gives you the link to the image. I get rid of that. Well, if the image is just for illustrative purposes then I would leave that. But another important thing is the alignment. And here on, in the Photoshop document, you can see the image is aligned left. So we'll align it left. And then here, insert into post. So there it is in the HTML, and there it is in the visual. It's important that you paste the text right next to the image. Don't paste it here, else you'll get a line from the top of the image. So paste it there and then the text will butt against the image. Now it's good to have two spaces in the HTML editor between all your text because that will give a proper par paragraph. Otherwise if it's just one paragraph break then that will just be a line break and it wouldn't give you a gap in, in between paragraphs. I'd also take away these bullet points here as you will use the HTML bullet points. So I'll show you that later. Now in the visual editor you'll see that these double spaces I've put in have come in as paragraph space. A single space in the visual editor is just a shift return and that's not a paragraph space, it's a line break. So it's better to do a, a return in the visual er editor. Now this bit of text is going to be a subheading and in order to get a subheading in the visual editor you need to get this second line of icons up in the visual editor. You do that by clicking the last icon on the first line which is show hide kitchen sink and then with this subhead text selected, the text you want to be a subhead, you need to choose title 2 or heading 2 for that. I'm going to make this one bold and we're going to make these bullet points. So if we update that now and have a look at the page on the site and see how our editing is going so far. So here you can see there's the heading and there's the image with the text, there's the subhead and there's bold and bullet points there. One last thing that we need to change 
from the Photoshop visual is to give it this boxed copy here. And to do that, we select the copy that the text that we want to box and click that, which is block quote. Update that and then refresh the page. And that has put that bit of text into the brown box.